Well, hi everyone, it's a new week, even though my t-shirt might not say as much. But uh, here we are outside the boat, and what you can see that's new is that now we've got on two boards each side, on the, on the coach roof side, the raised deck side. Um, so a bit of progress there. And I've put a board on the deck, which we'll just cut now, and we'll go up and have a quick look at. Yeah, there it is, a full sheet of plywood, Eight by four, two meters 44 by 122. Obviously got the light cloth on the underside and it's epoxied onto the boat there. And it's uh, leads to some rather interesting things to think about. I've been measuring out and uh, marking out and thinking about the entrance hatch there um, because just crawl up here basically we'll have a board through somewhere like that coming through there either side won't be quite as deep as that but it'd be, be a good six seven centimeters high and the the hatch will slide on that which will give a bit more standing room in that area um, and one thing i really want to do if you know these boats if you know obviously the most famous of these boats is badger um, there's another one built by a guy from Seattle, I believe, called Willow, that I've mentioned before. Um, if you look at both of those as they are these days, they've both got pilot houses, small pilot houses over this area. And I want to do the same. Clearly not while she's in the shed, because you haven't got the height for it. But, but yeah, thinking about that hatch area and how that pilot house is going to go. Marking things out, measuring things out. That's good. Um, and then... Yeah, these boards still waiting to be planed off at the top there. So I'm doing the same sort of structure here as I did on the hull, where the sideboard comes up, the deck comes on top of it, then the second layer is coming up there, then the second layer of decks coming on top of that to, to minimise the exposed end grain. So you know, also the order that boards go down is, is taking a bit of thought because these cabin sides need to extend into that combing that go around the, the fore deck and aft deck. So that's all, all got to be done in the right order. But uh, we're making progress, coming on quite well. Let's go down inside and have a quick look, shall we? Yeah, and here we are inside. As you see the, the boards on the sides, the deck boards up. And I'm stood here now, I've taken my shoes off to, to show you that sort of that head height that's, that's available. Um, one thing that's going to happen is on the top sides of the deck, there will be two longitudinal beams, that'll be the extensions of, of the runners that the, the main hatch slides on. And when they're in place, it'll be possible, if you could just look up a bit, Kerry, it'll be possible to, to remove some of the wood of these beams, just to, to give that. But as you see, I, you know, I... It might be tight, but I can walk through there without any problem. Um, so the boat's designed to have six foot and a quarter of an inch, I believe, of headroom, standing headroom, uh, which this certainly has. Now I've, I've made it the right sizes and it's plenty, it's comfortable. So there we are, coming on in here. Another thing that needs to be done is that these beams, all of the woodwork, all of the Douglas fir needs to be cleaned up, sanded, and sealed with a coat or two of epoxy and then some bit of varnish, I think, probably. So that needs to be done soon. So, so there's lots of little bits and pieces to do at the moment, which might not look that exciting, but um, things that need to be done. And uh, yeah, I, I, I should be doing those soon, I think. <laughs>
Well, here I am doing something else. So, I'll tell you something. Um, there are times, there's been now twice in this build where. I've sort of stopped and thought and, uh, and spent a long time thinking about what's the correct next stage to do. You'll notice straight after the rollover, there's a video called Not What I Intended or something. That, that's a fine example there, where I, where I was thinking out the next step to go and, and in the end did something else. And it's happened again here now, because when I started thinking through the decking and the sideboard planking, it became obvious that what I've got to do next actually is plank the aft deck. That's come about partly because I'm waiting for the toilet to arrive. I also haven't, still haven't got the clamping ring for the engine, it's supposed to be coming. So what I'm up to now is preparing the aft deck to be planked. And the reason for that is the aft end, if I can just come past you Kerry, and you turn around, so these upright cabin boards, fore and aft, at the moment they're only half inch thick. And uh, for me that's not enough, for two reasons, um, stability and insulation. So I want to put another, at least another 10mm board on both ends of these, these upright cabin ends. 
Um, wood's quite a good insulator. So if I get 22 mil, what's that, seven eighths of an inch um, thickness there, it will, it will you know, do quite a good insulation job and also make it much more stable. Stable is also rather important. Um, so I want to put another board on there before I deck it, before I get these side pieces on. Remember that these combings extend, these side pieces extend into the combings fore and aft. I can't extend these combings, I can't put the combings on until the decking's on the aft deck here. So that's got to be done before there. And I've got to get this second board on here before the combing comes on as well. And I want the aft deck on there so that the second board comes down on top of it. Um, so that's the reason why this has come about. I've fared this now, so I've planed up all the way back to the stern post. Good one, Kerry. I shall nip past you once you've scanned round and got that in. Stand up here. I've cut the stern post off, and uh, yeah, that's an interesting one. In the plans, both the stem and the stern post appear to extend up beyond the decks, which seems to me a bit of a strange idea. I certainly don't want end grain up in the weather, so you, clearly you could cap it somehow, but it seems to me better to cut it off at deck level, put a deck board over top of it, seal it completely, and then where these combings come in and join, you could, you could put an extra block on deck for that joint that, that's glued to the deck. So I've cut that off, the deck's gonna come over and cover the stern post. His aft deck is also a bit strange in that it does actually curve in two directions. It's got the, the crown, the thwart ships, but it also curves this way. And as you probably know, with a, with a non-giving board or material, it's impossible to curve it in two directions at the same time. However, I've thought long and hard about this, and I do believe this will work. The reason is that this section here is, is flat, a thwart ships, only curves fore and aft, and then it starts to pick up a very gentle curve here. There's a lazarette hatch coming in there, so that comes down flat to there, and then either side picks up that slope. The cockpit, I'm going to have a cockpit, is coming in there, so it's the same story. Comes forward either side of the cockpit, and then we've got one board going across at the forward end of the aft deck. So I believe that that kind of composite curve will work here. The other thing, of course, is that plywood isn't really a non-giving material. You can torture it to give in two directions. It will stretch and give a bit. So. And as this deck crown is quite gentle, I do believe that I would be able to torture the plywood into that shape. I'll let you know if it doesn't work. So that's where we are now. Next job, this is all fared up, looking nice, I'm happy. Next job is to put in two longitudinals where that lazarette hatch comes, also there where the cockpit's going to come. Um, yeah, so a few longitudinal pieces coming in next. I'm going to cut this. Can you see that, Kerry? I'm going to cut that off in the cockpit area so that the cockpit... I'll put another board against this ply, but, but, the, but it'll come up tight against that board for the aft end of the cockpit. That's where we are. That's what we're working on. Aft deck now. And hopefully that clamping ring for the, for the hull seal will arrive soon and we can get the engine in there. If not... The engine will fit down through the opening for the cockpit. I've measured it. And it will also fit in the engine hatch. So we've got two options of getting the engine in. The easiest way will be to, to leave you know, the cockpit opening and just lower it down in there because it's pretty straightforward, straight down. Um, so we will get it in, even with the aft deck decked. That's where we are, working on the aft deck. Should we carry on now?
So there we are, that's it for this week. Framing pretty much in place, all fared up. Framing in for the lazarette hatch, for the cockpit, that's all been sort of, you know, thought through. Hope it's right. <laughs> um, we go on from there. Be the, gonna put the walls in and that, that um, quarter berth is gonna come in next. And now I say, that's it for this week. We'll leave it there. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe. See you next time. Riches in the sunset, stand there to see. Tell me where you're going so decisively. What's your destination? Tell me where you're bound. We can move together where adventures abound.